President Rodrigo Duterte skips the barangay elections Monday, the first to be held under his administration. The voting period ends at 3 p.m. with Duterte failing to show up at his polling precinct in Davao City. Davao City Mayor and Presidential Daughter Sara Duterte Carpio votes at the same precinct around 10 a.m. This is the first barangay polls in five years and the first SK polls in eight years following many postponements. Incumbent barangay officials elected in 2013 remained in power after the village polls were rescheduled twice. Meanwhile, youth council posts have been vacant since 2013 when the terms of SK members last elected in 2010 ended. The usual election problems mar the barangay and Saguniang Kabataan elections Monday. Many voters get lost while others cannot find their names on voters' lists. In Bagong Silang in Caloocan City, some voters have to transfer several times before finding their polling precinct. Bagong Silang is the biggest barangay in the country. But other voters in the same barangay opt to leave the voting area since they couldn't find their polling precincts. Even though maps were placed outside the buildings indicating precinct numbers, voters still fail to locate their rooms. Even personnel assisting the voters have a hard time locating the precincts. Some senior citizens and persons with disabilities also have to go all the way up to the third floor to vote. Several voters complain of names missing from the voters' list. But despite the problems, voters persevere. Tricycle driver Roberto de los Reyes says, quote, I need to vote. It's the barangay captain that we end up approaching for help because he's just a tricycle ride away. The president lives in Malacanang. Two Chinese companies poised to win a 17.2 billion contract to rehabilitate Marawi City were once blacklisted by the World Bank over corrupt practices in the Philippines. A World Bank report says China State Construction Engineering Corporation and China Geoengineering Corporation allegedly colluded with local companies in the Philippines to rig the bidding of road projects partly financed by the International Financing Institution. The World Bank barred CSCEC and CGC for a period of six and five years, respectively, from participating in projects financed by the bank. CSCEC, China's largest building contractor, was reportedly notorious during the Arroyo administration. In 2004, it was also blacklisted by the Public Works Department for six months over alleged violations of the procurement law. The two companies are now part of the Bangon Marawi Consortium, a group of Chinese and Filipino companies hand-picked by the government to rebuild areas worst hit by last year's battles with terrorists. World Bank says, quote, Under the cartel system, bid prices were dictated by the cartel leadership. Uncooperative bidders were forced out of the process before bids were submitted. Winners were pre-arranged, and losing bidders, which in some cases participated to avoid displeasing influential members of the cartel, were compensated for their participation. The World Bank investigation happened during the administration of former President Gloria Arroyo. The project, National Roads Improvement and Management Project, was one of several projects involving Chinese firms that the Philippine Congress investigated for corruption back then. A North Korean defector says Pyongyang will never completely give up its nuclear weapons. North Korea's former deputy ambassador to Britain, Thay yong hu makes the statement ahead of Kim Jong-un's landmark summit with United States President Donald Trump next month in Singapore. He says the current whirlwind of diplomacy and negotiations will not end with a sincere and complete disarmament, but with a reduced North Korean nuclear threat. Thay says, quote, In the end, North Korea will remain a nuclear power packaged as a non-nuclear state. North and South Korea affirmed their commitment to the denuclearization of the peninsula at a summit last month. Pyongyang announced over the weekend it will destroy its only known nuclear test site next week. Singer Gary Valenciano is discharged from the hospital Sunday after undergoing heart surgery. The singer underwent a bypass operation last week after discovering a problem in a small portion of his left main coronary artery during a doctor's checkup. Valenciano says he just needed to rest a little more before returning to his showbiz commitments. He says, quote, Time to press the reset button. Not the reset, but the pause button so it's continuous. Just need to recuperate quite a bit. It's still hard to swallow, but I'm getting better all the time, getting stronger every day. Mm-hmm.